Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a CCNA and CCNP combination video boot camp and practice exam for you on compression with IP version 6, a skill you definitely want to practice before any of those exams. I'm going to have the question on the whiteboard here for you in about five seconds, and if you need to pause the video for a little extra time, go right ahead and do so. Here's today's question. Using leading zero compression, but not zero compression, what's the shortest way you can legally express the IP version 6 loopback address? A lot going on there. You got to know what the address is, zero compression, leading zero compression, and what the rules are. So if you need a moment to think about that, go ahead and pause the video. I want to invite you out to my video boot camps at udemy.com. There's a full list of the courses at udemy.com slash u slash Chris Bryant. Several free courses out there. There's plenty of free content for the NA, the CCNP route, and the new CCNA security exam as well. And we've got almost 3,000 students in my CCNA course right now with the discount code that's already been applied here and is always here in the first paragraph you get in for $44, a fantastic deal. You don't have to bust your budget and you get my world-class training. We've got courses out there for the new CCNA security and CCNP as well with Server 2012 on the way. Now, let's talk about the zero compression. We're gonna spend a couple of minutes here because I wanna go over some rules with you too. First things first, we've got to know what the loopback address is to begin with. And let me go ahead and show you that in its unadulterated form, if you will, it's uncompressed form. And uh, that's a lot of zeros, right? That's a lot of zeros. So we've thankfully got some more efficient ways to type that, especially if you don't like typing zeros. The way you'll generally see this expressed is its shortest possible form, which is just two colons and a one. And that's using zero compression. Uh, what the question said, don't use zero compression, use leading zero compression. Well, with leading zero compression, uh, you know, there's some good news and some bad news as far as uh, compressing it. The good news is you can perform leading zero compression as often as you like, where with zero compression, you can only do it once per address. Now, the only problem, if you will, with leading zero compression is you have to leave at least one number in each field. So what we would do, even with these fields that are all zeros, if you're only using leading zero compression, you have to leave one zero. You've got to have a number in each one of these fields. And this is how we would shorten it. And that's what you would end up right there with. You would have seven zeros and a one at the end and a single colon between each one. Because if you see two colons, you know you're, someone has done zero compression. That is it for today's video practice exam. We're gonna do some more of these compression exercises. Also some hex conversions here in the video bootcamp series very soon. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.